Let me know when you're ready. Ready. All right. Awesome, guys. Um, if you're a new coach here, I just want to say congrats on joining. Um, it has been amazing for myself and everyone else on this team. Um, a little bit about myself. I have been coaching for, oh my gosh, a little over five years now. Yeah, a little over five years now. I have been a full-time working coach for almost four years. July 2nd will be four years. It's kind of crazy to say that it's been four years that I've been working from home um, doing just Beachbody. And I am a mom of three. Um, I'm a star diamond on this team. And let me pull up this, share my screen so you guys can see it too. Can you guys see my screen? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, all right, so that's a little bit about me. Um, I don't wanna to spend too much on that. I will drive right in for us. I just wanna share first and foremost that we have so many resources as a new coach. Um, there are so many things for you to learn everything that we have going on in this business, but I also want you to know that you don't have to know everything. Um, just take it step by step, little by little, and I always tell people to learn as you go. And I always stress that to new coaches too, because sometimes it can get overwhelming. Um, I'm sure, you know, every coach signs up, they have a different coach onboard processing. Um, so you might get an email or you might get a full on training or you might get a new coach handbook or whatever it may be. It can get a little overwhelming. So I just like to let everyone know this is a learn as you go process. You don't have to know everything before you start working and, um, and you don't have to go through everything either before you start working. I have been doing this for over five years and I still learn something new every single day. And I'm not even joking about that. Every single day I learn something new. So don't think that you have to know everything. Um, and use your resources. Just like it says right on here, we have our coach online office, which is our back office. There is everything in there. There's training for you in there. Um, the, the coach FAQs in there where our questions where you can just type a question in and it'll bring up all these different answers for you. Um, utilize your team page, which is whoever signs you up, they have a team page that they will add you into, which is just a private Facebook group of all of us coaches in there. So if you can't get an answer out of your upline right away, ask it in those pages because somebody will answer you no matter what. Um, we have our new coach trainings. We have, like I said, the coach FAQs and then also YouTube and Google. I remember when I first started coaching, I YouTubed everything. I Googled everything. I still even do that sometimes um, just to get a quick answer. So I don't have to wait for somebody to answer me too. So make sure you, you utilize those resources. We also have our national wake up call every Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern. We have these calls. We have we kind of have a setup right now where every other Monday we're doing a uh, what's working team call, and then the other Mondays are um, our new coach getting started right calls, um, and then every Wednesday it's our power hour, which is basically just a little session. Sometimes it's thirty minutes, sometimes it's an hour, where we just share what we're doing and we do it together. So we're inviting together. We are um, adding new friends together. All of that together so that way you see how every coach runs their you know business differently and you kind of do it together so that way you're not always on your own um this out of the way sorry if you hear my text messages from my computer i don't know how to turn those off okay for vital behaviors in our business we have four major thing that we all do consistently every day. And if you just stick to these four things consistently, that is when your business will grow and you'll get traction in your business. Number one is be proof that the products work. This means showing, every, showing up every day for yourself, putting yourself first, make sure you're getting those workouts in, um, you know, drinking your shake, your energize, whatever supplements you have, make sure you're utilizing them. Um, and have some sort of plan with your nutrition. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we will tell you all the time, that's why it's a lifestyle. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can, you know, you're gonna eat good, but then you're also gonna indulge sometimes too. So 
You want to be proof the products work and have, make sure you're showing up every day doing those things. Uh, number two, share, connect, and invite. You want to share your journey on your social media, um, connecting with people and inviting them to do what we're doing, just like you were invited to be in here. Um, you want to show, like I said, it, it goes back to number one. You want to show up every day on your social media, share your journey. And this, I'll talk about this a little bit later too. Um, you're not just sharing just your workouts. You're going to share everything in your life to allow people to connect with you because you have to remember that your social media is your storefront. So I know for me, when somebody tries to talk to me or even likes any of my stuff, I instantly go to their page and I practically just stalk them real quick. So you want to make sure that your page is sharing who you are and what you're doing. So that way, when those people do come in contact with you, they're going to go to your page and they're going to see all about you. So definitely want to be consistent with sharing. Number three, personal development. Um, at least 10 minutes a day, at least. I do, for me right now, I just read one chapter of my book and I leave it at that. And then sometimes I might wake up and listen to... Uh, something motivating, a uh, motivating YouTube video or podcast or whatever it may be in the morning, depending on how I'm feeling. So I want to share when I first started coaching, I didn't take personal development serious. And I think a lot of coaches also do that as well. They don't take it seriously because we, it's not normal for us to read something that's going to make us better or um, listen to something that's going to make us better. For me, it wasn't anyways. I hated reading. I hated all that stuff. And I kind of just felt like I had it all together in my own head. So I was, I was like, well, I don't need personal development. Like I already kind of know what I'm doing and where my life's going. So I don't need personal development. And that is so far from the truth. Uh, once I started reading it or listening to it, my life has just been so much better and so many different ways um, to the business, as a parent, as a spouse, so many different ways, um, my relationship with my own self. So that's why I think a personal development is very, very big. Number four is recognition. Um, celebrate every meaningful achievement that shows growth and success. So what we mean by recognition is, you know, sharing your clients, you know, their transformations, um, whether it's you know, one pound, um, it could be a non-scale victory too, where they may fit into this pair of jeans that they haven't fit into forever. Anything little, um, recognizing your coaches for something, recognizing your friends for something. It doesn't have to be a transformation. Just recognizing anybody in your group for something. You always want to make sure you're doing that because I know for me, when I get recognized, it feels good. And I feel like everyone is like that. Anything that you get recognized, it's like, wow, that makes me feel good. So that's why you want to make sure those are the types of things that you're doing every day in your business as well. All right. So first goal as a new coach, you, the first goal is to basically you want to earn your money back that you've already invested your initial investment, which is usually the package that you signed up for. Um, so that right there would be helping three people sign up the same exact way that you just signed up to be here, which is a challenge pack or a package. Um, signing up three people will give you that initial investment that you invested and also a little bit extra as well back. And this will mean that you hit success club. So every month in this business, you have the opportunity to hit what we call is success club, meaning you have a certain amount of points on the board. And for three people, that's six points. And you need at least that to be able to qualify to hit success club every month, um, as well as meaning you have to also have your 90 PV on auto shipment in order to hit success club as well. And just to break that down real quick, um, for example, Shakeology, that is your 90 PV. So then you, you never have to worry about going inactive, you're just automatically active. And I mean, if you're drinking it every day, you should always need it every month anyways. Um, also, Achieving Success Club for your first three months, every month, your first three months of joining, you earn your free ticket to Summit. What Summit is, is a huge event. It is one of my favorite events. Um, a huge training event. There's trainings, there's parties, um, there's live workouts with all the celebrity trainers, so many things going on. And it's always in a different place. 
Uh, this year, it's in, I think, July. I think it's always in July, around July. Um, we're doing it in Indianapolis again. We did it there last year as well. Um, but you definitely want to make sure you get to these. These are the game changer in a lot of people's business is being at that summit event. You learn so much from top coaches. You get to hang out with your, your friend coaches that are in, you know, your team. You get to know each other and you just learn so much. I definitely think it should be on your, your goal to earn that free ticket. And even if you can't go, sorry, even if you can't go, I think it's, it's a huge recognition to be able to say that you were a success, you know, a success starter. You earned that success in your first three months and you were able to earn that ticket. And even though maybe you couldn't have gone, you still earned it. And that, I think that's awesome. Um, and lastly, for this one, start with your friends and family as you grow and as you grow your cold market. So if you're in this business, you're going to grow your network, but you're also going to want to just talk to your friends and family at first, because those are the people that know you. Those are the people that you see every day, you're talked to every day, they trust you. And in the, you know, the midst of all that, that's when you're going to continue to grow your network and get to know other people and, you know, gain new friends as well. And then you can talk to them. All right, step one, commit to a challenge group start date. What I mean by that is that you want to commit to a start date of your next group. Now, as a new coach, you don't have to start your own group. For me, for my new coaches, I run my, at my own virtual gym. So I tell them, you know, you can utilize that gym. Throw your people in there and um, I can either run it all or you can also maybe do a couple days here or there when you're ready as well. Or if you are totally ready, you can just completely run your own group. It just depends on what you're comfortable with, but you do have those different options. Um, but like I said, we want to just make sure you have a start date. And the reason for that is because then you can tell people like, Hey, you know, I want to invite you to this group I have coming up. We start on this day, you know, that way they have some sort of date to look forward to. And then also you have something to look forward to and you always have something that you're inviting to as well. Sorry, just make a take a drink real quick. I feel like my throat's getting really dry. <clears throat> All right, your first invites. You want to become a convert conversation expert, but you're not going to be a conversation expert for, you know, as a new coach. I didn't get good at my conversations until probably like at least a year into the business because you're going to learn how to talk to people. You're going to learn how to, you know, feel different people's energies out. And um, it's going to take a, a little bit to become a conversation expert, but don't let that stop you or hold you back. Um, whoever your upline is, you can always take screenshots of your conversations, send them to them, um, ask for advice on what to say with the conversation next. Um, you can all also utilize the team pages, like I said before, take a screenshot, screenshot of your conversation, throw it in that team page, and ask you know, the other coaches for you know, your next step to say in the conversation. But we also have scripts as well that you can utilize too. Um, your goal is to connect with three new people a day or 20 people a week. Um, the reason to have that goal is just to make sure that you are, you know, doing those things every day and you are coming in contact with new people every day, um, making a connection with them and, you know, becoming friends with them. I've met my best friends by doing this and it's kind of crazy to say that, but I've met all of my best friends, even my boyfriend on the freaking internet. So <laughs> uh, it's definitely nice to just connect with those people every day. And it's good to have that goal. So at least three people a day um, or that 20, 20 people a week. Uh, you're not reaching out too close to them. You're just reaching out to open the door. Like I said, just connecting with them, um, gaining that friendship. You don't have to invite them right away. Just make that connection with them. Um, be brief, be excited, and end every message with a call to action. Um, and a call to action is giving them something to do. Don't just end the conversation. Um, a call to action could be an invite to something, or um, a call to action could be, I don't know, challenging them to do something. It doesn't have to be some where you're always inviting them to something, but something where it allows the conversation to keep going. And it's, giving them something to do. Uh, find their need before you fix their need. Uh, you know, this is where you're connecting with them, finding what they need and not 
focusing on what you need. Um, and just because everyone's different, everyone has different goals. Um, and you want to make sure that's what you're leading the conversation is about them. And it should always be about them. It should never, you know, never be about you. Uh, let's see. Recognize and welcome objections as part of the process. And what we mean by this is you're going to get a lot of objections, whether it's, I don't have time. And, you know, you can think of these too, because I'm sure when you talk to somebody as well, you probably had a lot of these objections where maybe you didn't have time or you didn't have enough money. Um, if those are like the top two I could think off my head, but whatever the objection they have up to why they can't join you, always recognize those and also answer them because it's a part of that conversation. I have people all the time that tell me, you know, they don't, they don't have time or they don't have money. And um, in fact, I just made a post about that, about not having time. When I first started this business, I didn't literally did not have time. I was working three jobs. I was a single mom of one. I was finishing college, taking care of my sick mom. I did not have time to freaking work out, let alone start a business, but I really wanted it. So I made the freaking time and I woke up at three 30 in the morning and made sure I got my workout in even if I was tired as hell. So those are the things that I share when it comes to objections. You can share them in your post um, but also answer them in the conversation when you're talking to people too. You want to make sure that you can relate to them. Like, Hey, I trust me. I know about not having time. I used to do this. This is how I got over it. Um, and that way it kind of allows them to think like, Oh wow. Like if she did all that crap and still had time to do a 20, 30 minute workout, then I definitely can too. Um, so that's, that's a good, um, thing to recognize and then welcome those objections. Use scripts from the new coach training and from the team pages. Um, I mentioned this before where if you don't know what to say, we have scripts where you can look at them. Um, the thing with scripts, you know, coaches are so different when it comes to scripts. Some coaches, you know, love scripts and only like to use scripts, but I'm the type of person that I love scripts for new coaches, but I also want you to know to make sure that you say it in your own way. Um, and then once you come up with a good way, that you like to say it where it is a way that you would say it, then save it into your own script. That way you have your own script of things to say now, and then you can just copy and paste those things because it's coming from you. Um, but as a new coach, like I said, we do have those new scripts and utilize the team pages where you can ask for the help from other coaches or your upline. Don't be afraid of the cost. It is an amazing value. I just you know, kind of talked about that briefly just now. You have to be confident in your conversations when it comes to cost, because I know that's the one thing where a lot of coaches uh, stumble on because they're scared to say that it costs $160. But for me, I know the value of it. So I'm like, that is freaking amazing. It so I say it only costs $160 because you're getting a whole year of freaking workouts recipes, nutrition help, nutrition plans, your vitamin shakes, your access to my virtual gym. If you approach it that way where you are confident in that cost and you know it's an amazing value, then they're going to think it's an amazing value as well. Don't send them your link right away. That is a huge one. I don't send anyone any link, um, hardly ever. I just, especially right away. Um, you, as a new coach, you want to go through this all these little bullet points that I'm talking about, make that connection, um, figure out what their need is, um, get to know them and figure out what they would need. And then you want to invite them, talk about the price and then send them a link once they are ready to join. You never want to send it right away and let them figure out um, for themselves. Don't show up and throw up. <laughs> I love that saying, don't show up and throw up. I've never heard that before. <laughs> um, what that means is don't show up in a conversation and, you know, give them all of this information at once and just throw it up everywhere in the conversation for them. Um, because you're going to scare them away. What I do is I just do little bits by little bits. Like, just like you were, I always tell people to think about it as you were talking face to face, because if you're talking face to face, you're not going to literally spit off every single thing before you let them talk. So just say a little bit, let them talk, say a little bit more, let them talk. And that's what that means by don't show up in that conversation, then throw up because it literally will scare them away. And I used to do that. So, um, 
follow up forever. This is a good one because I just had, I have a good example for this. Um, follow up forever means, you know, you want to follow up <clears throat> with these people, even if they tell you no, that doesn't mean to never invite them again or never talk to them again. It just means no, they can't do it right now. And there might be a good reason of why they can't. Maybe it's not the right timing. Maybe they really don't have enough money to do it right now. Or maybe they have, you know, a lot going on mentally and they're just not mentally ready for something like that right now. Whatever it is, there's something going on. And you, you know, them saying no doesn't mean they're gone off your list. It just means do it again next month. Invite them again next month. Keep them on your, your list. Keep them on your tracking and follow up with them forever because eventually it'll be good timing for them. And for my example is I just signed somebody up um, yesterday or today where I invited her three years ago. I invited her three years ago. She actually was initially excited and wanted to join, but then stop talking to me. So then I invited her again and she started talking to me again and um, was excited to join and then stopped talking to me again. And she did this for literally three years. And I would say probably the last year I, I slowed down a little bit on talk, inviting her as much, but I still invited her. And then she ended up signing up. I think it was yesterday, yesterday. Um, three years later. So that's what we mean by follow up forever. You never know when that timing might be for them. Um, so they will thank you, follow up with them forever. All right, your second goal as a coach is that you wanna achieve Emerald rank in 24 hours, um, which is this little picture right here, meaning you have one active coach on your left leg and one active coach on your right leg. This, is super easy to do within 24 hours because a lot of times it'll be a spouse. It'll be, you know, a husband or a wife or, you know, another family member, your sister, your brother, um, your best friend, whatever it may be. It's super easy to get to Emerald within 24 hours. And the reason why it's such a great goal to have in the beginning of your business is because you're getting your first freaking rank advancement within 24 hours, which is amazing. You're starting to grow your business. Um, once you get to Emerald rank, you can start getting uh, team bonuses, uh, depending on how your volume is. And there's so many benefits of what you can do with your business when you start rank advancing. So having that Emerald rank within 24, hour, 24 hours is the main goal. And like I said, it can be your husband, your wife. Um, and if you have a spouse that you're going to sign up, I mean, if you have a spouse, you definitely should sign them up first and foremost. Um, it's, I have a girl who she signed up and her, and her husband signed up at the same time. She signed him up underneath her. And that was th four years ago, three or four years ago that they signed up and her business is booming now. And her husband's business underneath her is booming now because they did it that way. So it is such such a good plan to do it that way because not only are you, you, you may not see it right away, but down the road, it's going to benefit you so much because you're not only gaining income from your business, but then you're also gain, gaining income from your husband or your wife's business. So that's two incomes that you can earn from this by doing it that way. Um, let's see, I think I covered everything for that. All right, sharing your journey on social media. I know that a lot of new coaches, they think, you know, as soon as you become a coach, you only have to share <clears throat> or you only should share fitness and health and your food. But that's not what we want you to do at all. We want you to share your journey of your fitness and your workouts and, you know, what you're eating, whether it's bad or good, whatever it is. We do want you to share those things too, but we also want you to share your life share, you know, for me, I share my family. I share all of my kids, their craziness. Um, I also do share my workouts. I share some of my food, um, anything that I'm doing, our trips, everything. I share all of that, every aspect of my life on my social media, because that's what I, you know, that's what I was saying before is that's what, that's, what's allowing people to connect with you. Because like I said, you're just like right here, these pictures, you're 
social media is your storefront. So as soon as some, you come in contact with somebody, they're going to go to your social media. They're going to go stalk you. Just like I would do to somebody that's liking or following me that's new, I'm going to go see what you know, their page is all about. And that's what they're going to do to you. So as soon as they pull it up, you want them to get to know you literally within those first few scrolls. So if it's all just fitness, then they're going to think, oh, this is just a, you know, just a fitness person. But you want them to see that you're you know, a mom or maybe you're a fur mom or you're getting married soon or um, I don't know, you're into knitting. <laughs> Whatever it is, you want them to get to know you within those first few scrolls. So make sure that you are sharing everything and not just your fitness journey. The power of consistency and patience. So with this, on the left, you have a picture of um, basically a package of workouts, a shaker cup, supplements, all of that. Um, but when you scroll by something like that, it's not going to really stop you. Most cases, it's not going to stop you. Um, and that's, that's what you want to remember too when you're posting that you want it to stop people. And something like that is not going to stop people. Um, and it screams sales, definitely looks salesy. Uh, you definitely don't want to come off as salesy because that's not what we're about at all. And there's no story to a picture like that. But something on the right where it's sharing a little bit of her journey, it's definitely going to stop your scroll because you're going, you're like, oh, transformation, I'm going to look at that. Um, and then in here too, you can see that, you know, it shares a little bit of her story of her being on the 80 day obsession. Um, she's lost 10 pounds, her inches lost, all of that. Ooh. And it's eye catching. Uh, the picture is bright. It shares, you know, her journey, it tells a story in the text and it's personalized. That's like the biggest thing when you become a coach. A lot of coaches kind of want to jump the gun and start posting 21 day fix um, DVDs or their shaker cup or, you know, all these other um, pictures that aren't really personalized, but a personalized picture would be, you know, a picture of you just getting done with your workout or a picture of you even drinking your vitamin shakes or whatever it may be. It's personalized because it's you and not just a picture of, you know, Shakeology or your workouts. <clears throat> and um, I want to just go over the power of consistency as well with this is that you want to get in that habit of being consistent with your post and your business because that as soon as you're consistent and it becomes a habit and you do these things every day, that's when your business will grow. Um, because if you are not just like in your, your fitness journey, if you're not consistent in that, you're not going to see your, your weight loss goals or whatever your goals are, you're not going to see them. And just like in your business, if you're not consistent with it, then you're not going to see those things. <clears throat> So remember to be, always be consistent with the four vital behaviors that I mentioned before. Um, and this kind of just goes over what I just said. Fitness journey versus business journey. In your fitness journey, doesn't happen overnight. Business doesn't happen overnight. Um, in your fitness, you have to track to see results. In your business, you have to track to see results. Um, success is twofold in fitness and nutrition along with public and private with your business. Um, as soon as you stop, like I said, results get farther away. Same with your business. Um, and don't overcomplicate it. You know, in fitness and business, you don't want to overcomplicate anything. Keep it simple, um, stay consistent, and you will see those results. <clears throat> All right, what now? Um, you want to start going through our new coach training. So make sure you get your new coach training done. Make sure you go through any of the trainings that you need to go through. Um, every coach is different, so it's hard to say what coach has what, you know, whoever put you into this um, call. For me, I have, you know, the step-by-step -step trainings. Some coaches have, um, you know, quick uh, trainings, group trainings that they have for new coaches or a chat thread, whatever it is, make sure you get those done and go through those and let your coach know once you are completed. Commit to your program, drink your shake, and do your 10 minutes of personal development. Just like I mentioned, you want to start getting consistent. I have so many people who 
you know, message me and they're like, Hey, I started following you like four years ago <clears throat> and you're still freaking consistent. And that's what I love about you. So I'm going to join today. So staying consistent is showing those people, even though they started following you four years ago and they haven't joined yet, that you showing up and still inspiring them and motivating them every day <clears throat> shows that you're in it for the long haul, no matter what. Um, committing to that program, um, pick a program to do and do it from start to finish. Do not hop program to program. I used to do that all the time. And not only is it going to not really help you see the results that you want to see in your own um, personal goals, but you want to show other people that you can do a program from start to finish because that's what you want them to do too. Um, drinking your shake every day, it's good for you. Drink it. You want your clients to do it. Make sure you're doing those things too. And then your 10 minutes of personal development reading something, listening to something, a YouTube video, a podcast, anything at least 10 minutes. Um, and I always suggest to do it first thing in the morning because that whatever you do in the morning sets the tone for your day every day. Um, I know when I miss it in the morning, I kind of just start dragging my day. But if I listen to something motivating and something that's going to grow in whatever that I need help with at that moment, in the morning, I know my day is going to be amazing that day. So I always suggest to do it in the morning. <clears throat> begin sharing your journey and inviting people to join you. You're a new coach now, so begin sharing that journey. You don't have to wait until you get your package if you haven't got your package yet. Um, you don't have to wait until you go through the training. You don't have to wait until you see a transformation or results. Just start sharing it now and get people excited and share. Um, pick that start date for your next group or your uplines next group if you're going to use theirs and start sharing that and invite people to join that with you. <clears throat> and the best way to do that as a new coach is to tell people what you're doing, why you're doing it, your goals that you have, and ask anybody if they also want to jump on it with you to reach their goals that they have too. So you can hold each other accountable. And then lastly, don't get overwhelmed. One step, one conversation at a time, one goal at a time. Like I said in the beginning of this call, a lot of people get overwhelmed at first because, like I said, you think you have to know everything at once, um, be very knowledgeable before you start inviting people or talking to people, and that's not the case at all. Don't get overwhelmed. Do it little by little. Um, talk to your coach. If you are getting overwhelmed with anything, make sure they know and just do every step little by little. Talk to them. Go over anything that maybe confuses you do a little bit more and then check back in with your upline, all of that, and just learn as you go. That's the best way to put it because you're gonna, there's always new things that are changing our business, always new things that are coming out, new products, so you're never gonna know everything all the time. Always just learn as you go. And that is it. Let me stop sharing. Does anybody have any questions at all on anything? I feel like my voice is so dry. I don't know why. I love it. Great job, Ash. Thank you. Any questions, guys? Emerald Success Club <clears throat> activities, people to reach out to. Are your minds twirling with ideas? Total hottie. Total babe. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Charles. All right, you guys, if there's no questions, everyone's going to be Emerald. So our rank it, our weeks are Thursday through Wednesday night. So everybody who locks in Emerald today, tomorrow, or by Wednesday night will officially be recognized on Thursday morning. So that is your goal day. If not by tonight, definitely by Wednesday night. So when you wake up on Thursday, you'll be a bright, shiny emerald and your coach will do all the recognition. Um, I think Beachbody gives you a prize. You get, I don't know, who's a recent emerald? What do you get for emerald? I don't think they do anymore. No? I think I you at least get a banner or like a, what's that certificate. called? Certificate. Morgan's like, yes. <laughs> certificate, yeah. I don't know if there's any value or certificate. I think it's a bracelet too or something, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Cool. So raise your hand if you're going to be Emerald on Thursday. 
or you're already an emerald. Nice. Hold on, Sam. Are you distracted or are you gonna are you nervous? Okay. <laughs> All right, awesome guys. Thank you again, Ashley, and to everyone that hopped on. I will post the recording. Um either tonight or tomorrow morning. So send it to all your newbies if they weren't able to join and have a great rest of your night. See you guys.